brand has had to come out with it. I am dating Jake Paul. I know it's crazy. Like he has all these fake relationships that he puts out there. I honestly feel like I'm being played because he told me with his first girl and now this new girl, he's like, it's just for views. It's just for money, baby. Like I got you. Like we're gonna get like live in a house together. Like we're cool. You know what I mean? Like all this stuff. And he's like, you know, once it all pulls over, we're gonna have a good life, just me and you. And I like, I believed him. Like I know he's young, but like I believed him. Obviously, as you can see, I have his t-shirt. Like, <laughs> how else would you get his shirt if you weren't like, you know, his girlfriend? You know what I mean? Like, I know a lot of you are gonna ask, like, do you guys have sex? Like, I don't want to talk about that because it's like my personal life, but like. Okay, you can see it in my eyes. And I thought it was inappropriate that we'd be dating, but he was really persistent in eating my vagina. And then I was like, but there's an octopus involved. And he's just like, okay. I thought I owed it to you guys to like come clean with all of this. Like, I woke up this morning feeling like a chicken nugget. You guys. When you feel like a chicken nugget, you you feel like not delicious. Well, you feel delicious, but you also feel like fried and fake on the inside. Because the chicken nugget, I feel like it's the McDonald's chicken nuggets and they're fake. They start out as pink goop and become a chicken. And that's what I am, a pink goop. And I started out with pink goop. And now I'm a chicken nugget. These all just fell on the floor. I only like truly like the red gummy bears. Oh my eyes. So for anyone's like Trish Sean Drugs, bitch, it's called having a personality. I love the Teletubbies. Teletubbies are my life, but more than my life, they saved my life. When I was um, like 10, just 10, not nine, not 11, just 10. And I wanted to be a Teletubby. And sadly, I couldn't be a Teletubby, but you know what? I became one. I am one. <laughs> there is a hair in my mouth. But, oh, I hair because I keep dropping my mouth for. <laughs> ah, I have hair in it. everyone today I have a story time of a very traumatic experience that happened to me yesterday I don't have any pre-recorded videos since coming back from England where I was on celebrity big brother that's right I was a celebrity in the UK for three weeks don't get it twisted my real reason slash reveal for leaving has not been revealed but it might be in due time and we'll see so this week has been very tumultuous for me. I did come home from the UK where I was extremely famous and extremely big celebrity to LA where I am now back to nothingness when nobody gives a shit about me. So that was a huge blow. Anyways, so I Uber and I actually get there right on time, which is probably a mistake. It's probably better to get there late, but because you had to get on and they did say this in the fly, they clearly stated you had to get on a bus to take you to the actual location of this party. As I pull up, it's not just one bougie ass bus, it's buses, like probably 20 buses. You have to get on the bus, you have to get on the bus, and I was like trying to avoid it. Anyways, getting so much anxiety, it was like, it was honestly like freaking me out. I am a private girl, I am not public transportation, you know what I mean? So I'm on this bus, all of a sudden I am on this bus, you guys. All of a sudden the bus, like the bus driver comes on, he's like, hey, we're getting ready to leave. They close the doors on the bus and like, we're gonna take off. 
I said, I gotta get off this bus, I gotta get off this bus, I gotta get off this bus. I, I'm like, I can't believe it, I'm like almost riding a bus. Like, I was like, hey, I need to get off the bus. And he's like, sorry, the doors are closed. My fucking worst nightmare comes to life. I'm like, what do you mean the fucking doors are closed? Open the fucking door. And I, I was like trying to stay calm, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to pee, I have to pee, just leave without me, because he's like, we're leaving. And I said, just leave without me, I have to pee, like you have to get me off this bus. Like, full on freak out, whatever. Like, kept offering to like, pick me up, pick me up, and I'm just being like a complete fucking bitch at this point, because I was like, oh my god, I almost rode a fucking bus. Like, are you fucking kidding me? I don't think I would ever ride a bus again. Getting on a bus sounds terrible, and I don't mean this even as like anything like conceited or anything like that, because I swear to goodness, even when I had no money, like I would walk places, I would like just never ever take a bus. And this is no shade to people who can take a bus because you are so much more braver than I, so much more stronger than I. I totally respect you and what you do for our country, but like I can't do it. Like I can't, you know what I mean? So that's it, and that's my life. And I hope you guys enjoyed this story time, and I'll see you guys real soon. But just remember, don't let anyone force you on a bus. Even if you are on a bus, you are not trapped. You can have that bus driver stop at any time. Don't you even like think twice about it. And especially if you already are stopped, you can get off that bus and no one can tell you otherwise. That's what Rosa Parks fought for and that's why I'm here today. And this is a true story, 100% true. Everything is true based on the facts of Trisha Paytas. Love you guys. Okay, so for all y'all who are easily triggered by vampires or vampire stories, vampire sightings, vampire telephone conversations, Exit out this video right now. And then the vampire returned tonight. Do you hear? He's back in this house right now. He's upstairs. The vampire calls me on my telephone. He says, I'll hang around till then. I don't think this is a murderous vampire. I don't think he's a bad vampire. I think he just truly needs the blood. <sighs> hey, yeah, this is Trish. Um, I'm downstairs currently. Yeah. You're, uh, you live in my apartment upstairs, which is fine and cool. And, uh, I'm going to have a period in about a week. So, so I'll continue to, uh, you know, use tampons that you like. Uh, just a small little favor. I uh, want to interview you for my YouTube channel. Okay. Okay. So he said no. Welcome to a very special mukbang. This is really, really special eating show because you guys can finally meet my boyfriend. Here he is. <laughs> He's a little shy. And I can eat and be myself around him, which is so great. You're the cutest joke. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. We all cool? We cool? We cool. We cool? We cool like a cool J.